six, it only takes minutes to develop frostbite in these Arctic temperatures. But would you know the early signs if they hit? Meteorologist Andrew Michael is live and on your side in West Columbus with how to spot Mother Nature's bite. Andrew. Hey guys, yeah, so here's what we're looking at. Tonight, a low of about 10 below zero, winds about 15. So we are right here almost just a little over 10 minutes is how fast frostbite can occur tonight. Definitely very dangerous. It's, it's cold, man. It's cold? Cold. Temperatures this cold mean frostbite is a real danger. We have had some mild cases of frostbite come in, nothing that's required admission to the hospital. Mount Carmel Health System had about 30 frostbite-related injuries in the last few weeks. And even for people who've lived here all their lives, this is not a normal winter. This is colder than I remember growing up. Have you had frostbite before? Uh, I've never had, like, diagnosable frostbite, but when, I, when you're a kid and you're outside waiting for the bus, he'd swear that you have. What he likely had was the onset of frostbite. Frost nip is just kind of an earlier form of frostbite. Catching early can prevent serious danger, so it is important to know the signs. If you start to develop pain, uh, you may then notice that your hand is more pale. Uh, and if you develop numbness as well, that's always a concern. The most important thing you can do is layer up before you go outside. How many layers do you have on today? Five. Five? <laughs> Still cold? Yeah. And obviously with these cold temperatures, every person we talk to has layer on layer on top of layer, and that is the only way to stay warm out here. If you think you're experiencing frostbite or frost nip, you should slowly warm the affected area. And then treatment is really just common sense, getting out of the environment and slowly rewarming the extremity. All right, and the number one piece of advice he said as well, if you have anything wet, let's say you have a pair of gloves that are wet, get rid of those, put on dry gloves, because wet gloves will pull away the heat faster. Now, I have to show you what we have back here. My news director asked me to show you. So they are right now putting together a green screen for Bill Kelly tomorrow to do the weather outside for the rest of the week. But here's the deal. It's only Bill Kelly. This is only weather. Where's the anchor desk? I challenge Bob and Yo to come out and join Bill Kelly the next couple of days when he's doing the weather. All the reporters are out here. If you listen really close, you can actually hear them all cheering. All the reporters love it too. Back to you guys reporting live in West Columbus, Andrew Michael. ABC 6 News. It's, it's All right, Andrew. <laughs>